In this video, you will learn how to create a virtual machine in Azure and open Visual Studio within that virtual machine. So here I am in Azure portal and I am going to click on add under virtual machines and I will type Visual Studio here. Once I type Visual Studio, I will get a list of templates that are available with Visual Studio Community 2015. So here I get Visual Studio Community 2015 update 3 with Azure SDK. So I'm going to just go ahead and select the first option which is available. Once I select the first option, which will give me further details where I can create a new VM. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that resource manager option as it is and click create. Now, once I click create, which will give me cost to enter the basic information. So here I'm going to add name as SP online and I'm going to select a username here so i'm gonna add a username called sp online dev and we will enter password then the subscription is free trial which we are using it and the resource group i can create a new one or i can use existing one which i have one so and the location is important thing right now i'm in manila so i'm gonna select southeast asia so that my vms will work faster when i'm working daytime so once you are okay with the basic information, I will click OK. But make sure you save the username and password that we are going to use later point of time on how to connect the VM. Now based on that information, which will suggest the default one, but I can look for all the other ones. But in this case, I'm going to go with the standard option which was given to me. Then the next step is it will just check the other settings. I'm going to leave those options and Validation is passed. I'm going to just look at all the details and click OK. Now you can see that initialize the deployment. That means it is going to create a VM. So there you can see that it created the VM called SP Online. Now I'm going to click on Connect and which is going to give me a remote desktop option. Like I said, I'm going to connect this one using the username and password that I have. So once I click OK, then I should be able to connect to the VM which is available. So within this VM, I should have Visual Studio Community 2015 which is installed by default. So let's go ahead and search for Visual Studio 2015 within this VM. So it's still initializing. Let me take a few seconds and the VM is getting ready. For the first time, it always takes time because it wasn't loaded all the resources so now i go ahead and search for visual studio 2015 there you can see that i have visual studio 2015 so everything is installed for me in azure it's so easy to get started with because i don't need to have enough ram on my machine i don't have to worry about how much faster my machine is going to work because now I have connected to Azure and I have connected to this VM and which will be much more faster than my local machine. So I don't have to upgrade and all those things. So in this quick video, you have seen how to create a VM in Azure and also how to connect to that VM and how to access Visual Studio Community 2015. So the action item for you is open the Azure subscription that you have created in the previous video and go ahead and create a virtual machine within Azure using Visual Studio Community 2015 template.